Right, hello and welcome to 2007 Audi R8. Right. So, if I'm gonna be 100% real with you here, this was my poster car. This is the car that I had up on the wall, and honestly, I still have such a big fascination with this vehicle. Now, today, we're gonna see how good it is in Gran Turismo 7. So, while I get behind the wheel of it, the Audi R8, you can pick it up from Brand Central for 166,700 credits or from the used car dealership for 137,800. Now you do also have a rare chance of winning it if you finish in the top 3 in the WTC 600 championship. So what do you get when you pick up this vehicle? Well, you get a naturally aspirated 4.2 litre V8 engine that produces 414 brake horsepower. It has a 6 speed transmission that is paired with a mid engine all wheel drive setup, and the vehicle comes in at a weight of 1560 kgs. So, to modern day cars, it's quite heavy and a bit underpowered. But it was still able to do 194 miles per hour or 312.2 kilometers per hour once maxing out in 6th gear. So the car has a performance point rating of 556.55. But how does this actually feel in Gran Turismo 7? So with the vehicle being in its standard state, I will be honest with you. I know I've said that so many times already. but. The vehicle, you can feel the age. You can feel that it's not as responsive, it's not as tuned or, how do I say, modernized as these modern sports cars, supercars. At the time, the 2007 R8 was honestly leagues ahead. However, with advancements in technology, it makes sports cars so much faster. But that does not take away from the fact that the Audi R8 is still a fantastic vehicle. With us seeing that we travel over 220 going into a fast corner, it isn't anything really mind blowing or revolutionary. To be honest with you, it's actually for a sports car a bit on the slower side. As we see that we said lap times around the 1 minute 51 second region. but. My fastest lap time was a 1 minute 49 second lap, which means yes, if you are pushing the Audi R8, you can set decently quick lap times. Now yes, you aren't going to be winning, how do I say, you aren't going to be winning hyper car parade events, this isn't going to be the fastest thing out there. But overall, the 4 wheel drive system on the vehicle is very responsive, yes you do have understeer which is a big downside to the vehicle because as you know with a vehicle having all-wheel drive understeer is such a big part comes along with an all-wheel drive car in Gran Turismo 7. Once you are able to look past that well you might actually enjoy your time because the acceleration on the vehicle and it makes this cool clicking sound when you shift up and just the sound of the V8 engine as it roars through the gears and things it's uh, overall a really good experience so now let's say if you are looking for a bit more out of your Audi R8 well then you can head on over to the tuning shop and by doing this and spending a lot of credits I'm gonna say a lot I mean you're spending a you spend a decent amount of credits well then you're gonna be left with 800 brake horsepower in a vehicle that weighs 1154 kgs so the vehicle is a lot lighter than before and produces what almost double the power so this should dramatically change the performance of this vehicle but before we test it out we need to upgrade the looks so if we run over to gt auto we see that we have one very generic front splitter the same can be said about the one side skirt and a custom rear wing. So when it comes to visual customizations on the Audi R8, well, you are going to be disappointed. There isn't much to do. So just keep that in mind. However, you can just slap on a livery and turn it into a proper race car, just like I did. So when you head back out on the circuit now, with the vehicle being fully upgraded on racing soft tires, full max downforce which 
sadly a downforce is kind of low with the downforce being at 120 in the front and 240 in the rear yeah the downforce is kind of bad we could have seen an improvement there however we didn't but it's fine we move on the vehicle fully maxed out is coming at 764.96 performance points which isn't too shabby at all immediately what you will notice is with the addition of almost double horsepower the car's acceleration is just so aggressive now you honestly just saw through the gears insanely quick and you gain speed so fast like you are coming at just under 300 kilometers per hour into the first corner and the thing is when you slam on the brakes you are still able to go through the corners there is no slippage the car has extreme amounts of grip and if it had a bit more downforce this car would be an absolute force to reckon with and when i tell you even with it having not that much downforce the car is still incredibly fast it's so agile it's really a one of those vehicles that are points and shoots and the thing is it took me such a long time to get behind the wheel of the audio r8 because i just didn't want to meet a hero and be let down however i'm not this car lives up to the expectations of what i imagine the performance of the audi r8 being because around kyoto driving park we are now sitting lap times i mean around a 1 minute 32 second mark 1 minute 31 second mark with my fastest lap time being a 1 minute 31 flat a 1 minute 31.0 and when i tell you this vehicle can easily break into the 1 minute 29 second mark so the audi r8 2007 model the only real downside when i say it comes to performance now with it being fully upgraded fuel efficiency if you are participating in an event that has fuel consumption applied to it well it's not going to be doing the best around the wtc 700 around the one i was able to get only two laps of fuel out of the vehicle before i need to refuel and considering the fact that the vehicle was setting lap times around the 4 minutes 12 second mark it wasn't the fastest thing out there because it's not fast enough to make up for the time you're gonna spend fueling the vehicle up so for money grinding purposes the audi r8 may not be the best case may not be the best go-to vehicle unless you are doing the wt600 around on tokyo expressway but still the audi r8 is a fantastic vehicle with insane performance and is honestly it's a force to be reckoned with so do not sleep on the 2007 audi r8 but what is insane imagine how good the new audi r8 is gonna be in cross with most 7 hopefully fingers crossed we can get that vehicle soon and actually test it out so with all this being said we guys still going to enjoy today's video don't forget leave a like comment subscribe and all that good stuff and i'll see you guys in the next one of the most video peace